All right, in the uh, ultimate embodiment of uh, feeling cute might delete later, I'm gonna try to marathon all these pedals and see if I can get them done, because uh, they all three allegedly don't work. So uh, this one, both the knobs were uh, <clears throat> loose on it, so I went ahead and popped those off and I tightened them a little bit. Apparently the drive control is stuck on 10, so I'm gonna see uh, what's going on here. I went ahead and popped off the back and uh, popped off those knobs. So let's see what we got here. And looks like the drive knob is touching. Let's see if I can get that on camera. Maybe when I moved it, um, but it was touching the case. So it probably was just shorting the ground and uh, causing it to the 110. So I'm just gonna loosen that, hold the pot in place. Crank it down, crank that one down. <clears throat> uh, if I didn't mention, I am uh, fixing this for my friend uh, Leilani. She's gonna go on a cruise ship for uh, till December. Um, and also Ryan Kinley uh, will be with her as well, two of my good friends. Uh, I will link to their uh, social media stuff, so if you want to follow them, see what they're all about. Uh, they're both very talented. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to set this one on the back burner, because I think that's going to be fixed. Uh, this Joe Bonamassa signature wah apparently doesn't pass signals. Go ahead and pop off the back and uh, see what the deal is. Good. Switch is kind of dirty. So I'm gonna spray it out. <clears throat> I'm also gonna spray out this uh, Ibanez. So give me one second. And we're back with some deoxid. Okay. And let me pop this circuit board out again. I'm just gonna go ahead and Spray out this tube screamer. Knobs feel a little, a little tight. I usually uh, prefer them to be nice and loose so you can get the maximum adjustment out of them. Clear off all that, uh, all that gunk that's in there. Plus, this has also been all three of these have been on a cruise ship, so they've been around some uh, salty air, which is. Uh, High humidity and uh, salty conditions make for lots of corrosion. That tone knob loosened way up. All right, pop that screw back in. And I'm feeling like I'm gonna go ahead and just test these. This one also allegedly does not pass signal. I'll just go ahead and pop the back since I'm gonna have to anyway. It's worth noting that uh, I do electronics repairs professionally, though I rarely work on pedals, mainly because it works out to uh, be more expensive uh, to work on them than it is just to replace them, but uh, they're friends of mine, so I'll be able to hopefully economically work on these. Plus, <clears throat> I kind of already know what's wrong with them, which 
helps a lot. So this one looks good too. The washer on here looks a little strange. Lock washer was uh, out of place. I just pop it in the back in place. See if that maybe does it. Also spray up this switch too. Both the switches but on the uh, wah pedal and on this thing look a little grody, so I'm hoping that uh, that's all it is, is just corroded switch contacts and that deox it just clears them right up. If that's the case, I'm gonna <clears throat> see if I can convince them to uh, bring one of those small cans of them uh, with them on the cruise, so that way if their gear starts breaking down, they can just spray it out and, uh, you know, they're not stranded. <laughs> 10,000 miles from the States with uh, gear that's broken. So anyway, uh, let's go check all these. Uh, we'll be back in 20 seconds. And we're back. It probably, probably took me more time to find my nine volt power supply than it did to uh, fix that uh, pedal there. So I just plugged straight into my console because I'm not gonna bother waking people up at this hour. Okay, I'm like 100% sure that that pedal is missing a wire on the uh, <laughs> on the gain knob. So over here, let's try out this Joe Bonamassa wah. Certainly putting out signal, I can see. Bingo, it was the switch on that guy, so that one's good. Okay, cool. Let's try out this Hall of Fame. Holy grail, my bad. I'm not a pedal guy. It's working. Okay, so let's go back to the bench, check, check out that tube screamer again. I'm pretty sure I just uh, missed a wire in there. I just wasn't looking for. There should be two coming off that pot now that I think of it. Okay, all right, we're back here at the workbench. Um, if you guys are curious why I'm making this video, um, I'm just kind of trying to get in the habit of making videos. So if you think this kind of stuff sucks, let me know. Um, if you find it interesting, let me know. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to do anything and everything and uh, see what sticks. Ah, there we go, brown wire. Broken. Let's see, you can see it there. Cool. Let's see if my wire strippers will go small enough in order to strip these. Might have to get my exact knife. Nope, this will strip. Okay. Uh, looks like the right lug was soldered too, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get the, or just remove the Ibanez solder. Make it a little bit easier to get uh, 
get that wire in there and then kind of bend it into a, into a J pattern just so it kind of hooks in there a little bit better. And I didn't get all the solder, that's disappointing. It was not good enough. It's gonna take me more time to uh, <laughs> to solder this one wire than it is to uh, actually troubleshoot the whole thing. That's kind of how a lot of this stuff goes. Um, people are kind of shocked if uh, I work on a lot of keyboards, for example, and uh, people are kind of shocked when I tell them that to replace one measly little button on the faceplate it's gonna be 150 bucks. And the reason for that is is some of those keyboards are uh, built on just layer upon layer of circuit boards. So, you know, you take out one circuit board that's got 10 screws in it, and then it's got, you know, five or six uh, flat flex cables in it, or Molex cables, or whatever. And you gotta photograph that and notate it so you don't screw it up, um, and then do it again and again and again until you get to the bottom layer of circuit board. And, uh, and then Bob's your uncle. Okay, that's uh, here. I'll shot of a completed work there. Use that brown wire. So I added maybe a little more than I needed to solder wise, but if those uh, if those uh, nuts come loose again on the knobs, maybe it'll hold up a little bit better. You really do use some chintzy wire on these. Uh, Ibanez and Boss pedals especially, kind of a pain to work with. All right, let's go slap this back on the uh, other bench and see what's up. Okay, take two on the Ibanez pedal. Levels down, I just don't wanna blow my ears out. Bingo, I fixed it. Let me turn that up a little bit. that does it for this video um, I'm gonna spare you guys from watching me put all the screws back in and popping the knobs on but uh, yeah like I said let me know what you thought about this kind of stuff um, I don't really have anything in right now that's more complex that's that would be a good video on but uh, yeah if you want to see more repair type stuff uh, let me know uh, anyway cheers <laughs>